When we plot the earthquakes and the volcanoes on a map of the world, we find that they are concentrated at certain uh, areas. This is the way we discovered the plate boundaries, and we discovered that the earth actually is cracked. The cracks through which eruptions of volcanoes may happen, before that also we may have earthquakes. And uh, first we discovered that the certain coastal areas of the world, for example Africa and South America, match together as if they have been joined together in the past. Alfred Wegener discovered this first. Now we know that the earth uh, uh, continents are actually not in the original place that they have been. They have moved many times over since the creation of the earth in four and a half billion years ago. And this process is continuing. And where we can see the process actually in real time is in Iceland, uh, where we have the creation of the Atlantic Ocean leading to the formation of this island. Inside the earth is hot, practically due to the impact heat that was introduced to this planet during the formation of it. And uh, this heat creates convection, and the convection leads when it reaches the surface, the solidified crust at the top of the uh, mantle creates cracks in the ground, as you can see here. And these cracks are where the separation or extension of the crust happens, and the magma forms fills the gap created simultaneously, so there is no practically a gap. And the eruption of, uh, in the Iceland is of this shape. In the Red Sea, we have another example, Afar Triangle or Africa, or Rhine Valley in the Germany, we have that. We have these eruptions in the water most of the times, like what we have in the Reckoners Ridge, which is a plateau inside the Atlantic Ocean. Part of it reaches the land. Practically, they are the same as the volcanic systems we have on the land. One of them is the LD volcanic system, similar to Schwarzenegger or Fegedes volcanic system or, or Hengel. And uh, this can potentially erupt inside the ocean. It has done in the 19th century and 20th, 20th century. And it is possible that we have another eruption recently. LD itself is something like a Thorbjorn Hill near the Swarzenegger geothermal power plant, uh, where the Blue Lagoon is. It's, it's a volcanic rock. It's the top of the ridge of the volcanoes. That have been, uh, most of it has been eroded. When we look at the tremors chart, we can see that the earthquakes start from the Reckoners Ridge and extends into the Reckoners Peninsula toward the east. Always it starts from the uh, LD, like a wave traveling through the earth, reaching the other side. And the volcanic systems on the Reckoners Peninsula are created like that, very similar to what we have in LD. LD, if it erupts, will be in the ocean, of course, at the depth 60, 70, 80, 100 meters. And when it reaches the surface, it may react with the water. Uh, lava has chloride in it, and chloride can disintegrate, create chlorine. Chlorine gas is one of the byproducts of these uh, eruptions. Also, lots of water and CO2, uh, not compared to what we have actually created by, you know, the, releasing them from the you know, oil and gas over the last 200 years, of course. This is an ongoing process. When it reaches the water, like what we saw in the Cambria Vieja volcano, it can cause this kind of reactions. I have a video about what happened in Cambria Vieja. Please watch that. Apocalyptic views of lava flow from the Cambria Vieja volcano. Now, two months has passed. Volcano has not stopped. It's coming directly from the core mantle boundary, like a welding torch made a hole in the uh, Atlantic Ocean and created the La Palma originally, now is adding to the land mass of the island. But the lava is flowing down the hills, going toward the ocean. This is a flow that nothing can stop it. I will show you a map that shows how it uh, moves toward the uh, sea, where, where it has covered actually. When it reaches the sea, it just looks like Jurassic Park. Things are falling down, rolling down. The seawater waves are coming toward the uh, headland created by these lava flows. Any moment you may see a dinosaur coming out of the Royal King Kong. 
And that is how it looks. This is a 3D model we have created, and it shows the lava flow where it ended up on the sea. The older ones, you can see that they are created layered lava as cliff that we see. It's apocalyptic view. It's a very strange phenomenon.